the scene, so to speak, and I'm not gonna sit there and kind of show how I came up with the tiles. I think I probably copied another video. But what it is is one object is here and it is being modified by well, quite a few modifiers, but the two that are mainly uh, important are the array modifier uh, and the other, the second array modifier. So yeah, there's just one object, which it turns out for me was a roof tile, a clay roof tile. Um, and I modified it to go one direction and then the other direction. So hopefully it looks like a roof. But um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. The problem I wanted to have was I wanted each roof tile to have um, the same texture, but a different color. A different color for the entire tile so it couldn't be some sort of spectrum or gradient across the whole thing which was doable and again it took me hours to find it there was just not one good video that really showed how to do this and there were in places in bits and pieces but um, yeah and it was really important you can do this with um, if you kind of do it um, using a oh man I'm kind of flubbing everything here but you can do this using a particle system. It's just not very easy. It doesn't not offer the same control. So I found for something like this, much, much better to just use a uh, array, uh, use two array modifiers. That just got me the, exactly the result I needed once I figured out the randomization of the uh, colors. Because I don't even want it like different. I want them also random. So go over to the left and you can see I start off at the very end. Is that starting at the end? Um, random per island. So you want to use that, plug it into the back, change your colors for each one. Um, that would, you can use the bottom one, that's just a textured bump ramp. Comes into the base color and then comes in the material. That is actually all there is. And it's so bloody simple that I wish I had kind of uh, found it easier earlier. <clears throat> I just have not rehearsed this very well, I know. Don't, don't downvote me too much because of it. Anyway. I got that far and I was kind of happy. I thought it was going to work and pretty good. And I would go to hit the uh, F12 button or the render button thinking all of my little roof tiles would be rendered and they were not. So I was like not getting anywhere. Well, I lost a lot of time not realizing that this has to be done in uh, cycles. I just, I don't know if I missed something somewhere, but there just wasn't one video telling me everything how to do it. So. I'm going to go to Cycles, if I remember where Cycles is. Actually, it's on the top. It's easiest to find. And do the same thing here. Hit Cycles. And now it's rendering my roof from one tile. Uh, but using that random per island option, it's just, ah, this is so cool. I mean, I just wish I had figured this out. Again, I, I'm not kidding. I spent hours doing that. So that's it. That's actually all you have to know. If you're looking for the solution, um, yeah, you can do it with the particle system, but it's just not as easy. And I, I don't think it works anywhere near as well. And having to actually go and make all the individual tiles, I thought would be you know, nonsense. This gives me exactly the results I need. Um, and actually, I think with a little bit of that noise texture as a bump map, I think it actually is the, it could use some more finessing. But from far away, I think I got a kind of nice tile, multi-colored tiled roof. So I hope that someone helps someone else as much as it helps me because I spent, I'm serious, hours and hours trying to find this solution.